story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Mark Crow. I'm president of Citizens for a Fort Murray National Park. But I'm not speaking on behalf of Citizens for a Fort Murray National Park this morning. And I apologize. I just walked in, so I may not understand entirely the context we're speaking about. But I do well, understand. Mr. Crow, we're in receipt of a, if I might interrupt for just a moment, we're in receipt of a letter from Governor Northam uh, requesting that the uh, Jefferson Davis Arch be removed, and uh, 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 but, but not precluding it being placed in some other uh, historical location, but that it, uh, Governor feels strongly, uh, given the letter, that it should be removed from its present location. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, I have not studied the background of this particular memorial park. Uh, I have passed by it over the years, and, and what it brings to mind, what it's always brought to mind to me, is not that it is a monument to Davis or to the lost cause or certainly to white supremacy. What it always makes me think of is the, the human condition and how you can be on top of the world one day and the next day you're nothing. And uh, mm -hmm. Davis had led a, a huge insurgency just a year or two before he was imprisoned here at Carroll Hall and walking the ramparts. He was making decisions what, that, that affected all America, whether, whether the Confederacy should invade Pennsylvania or Maryland, or whether it should suit, seek peace, whether African Americans should serve in the Confederate Army or not. All these decisions he was making, he was, he was communicating with Lincoln about things, and now he was walking on the ramparts looking, looking at Chesapeake Bay. Uh, I, I would analogize it to Napoleon at St. Helena looking out over the cliffs into the Atlantic Ocean. That's what I've thought about it. And I think it, I sense the momentum here, obviously, the governor's letter. And um, it saddens me. I think Fort Monroe is a big place. We, we can accommodate a lot of different things. And uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you for your comments, Mr. Crump. Uh, so that concludes. Uh